Okay guys, so I'm back to talk about fragrances again and uh, a new selection that I said I'll be getting and also one of the ones that didn't turn up last time that I was going to talk about. The ones from the previous review or previous video that I did with fragrances in it, I have worn some now, some of which have been actually quite surprising. <laughs> I quite like the smell of the Impudent Matthew by Pren Halligans. That's quite a nice smell. I quite like it. I've got it on at the moment. It does wear in very well. It wears quite nicely. And it's only got three ingredients in it. So there's petivar, mandarin orange and patchouli, which I quite like. So that's the three ingredients in that oil. So it's not three ingredients, but three notes, shall we say, that I quite like. I also quite liked, I did say in that video that I didn't like the Tom Ford Oud Wood very much. I thought it was an old man smell. When you wear it, it's actually much nicer. It embeds quite well. It dries out to a nice smell. So actually that I did quite like. And there's another Tom Ford one I've got in this video, which I also quite like the smell of, which is quite nice. The first one I want to talk about was from the last video, which hadn't turned up in time when I did that video, and that was the Creed Viking Cologne. Now this is a new blend, it's come out this year, um, previously it was Viking EDP. The Viking Cologne is supposed to be a different smell, I've not smelt the EDP, but this one, it's, yes, this is actually quite nice, I quite like this. Um, it's different, it's not like any of the other Creed smells, but it's quite a nice smell, it's not bad, it's quite nice on... Um, yeah, I'd recommend this one to anyone. It's quite a nice. If you're going for a creed, go for something new and go for something different. Now, I did mention in the intro, I was also going to talk about another Tom Ford one. This is Tom Ford Noir. This isn't that easy to get hold of. Some people say it's been discontinued, some say it isn't. Um, it's a nice smell. This one's quite a nice... Again, it smells just like a bit of an older smell. Um, more adult eats the younger. Some of these smells you see particularly popular brands of aftershave. They're going for the younger male, teenagers, that sort of thing. This one's more of an older... I think, anyway. An older smell. It smells like an older perfume. Um, it's quite nice. It's not overly powerful. It's quite subtle, but it's a nice... Yeah, it's quite a nice smell. Again, it is a fairly expensive one. As I said, it's like difficult to get hold of it. If you can get it, it is a nice smell. I don't know if it would last. The, the Tom Ford Oud Wood, because it was an Oud, did last all day. It was a really nice all-day smell. Had my favourite ingredient, which I believe. I've looked for all the ingredients so far. I still think the patchouli is probably the ingredient that I like. Other, you know, There's other ingredients. There's lavenders in there. There's vetivers. There's bergamot not such a fan of bergamot but some citrusy smells stuff like that so smells that i quite like that a lot of these ones have in common one of my favorite ones from that last fragrance video that i did was rohar perfumes danger which is a really really nice smell that was the one i probably like the most i've got another rohar one just to see what they're like this time i've got elysium and Elysium again, you get a really nice bottle, this time blue. I didn't realise that actually Rohar are from Brighton. It's a British based company. The guy's called Rohar Dove. He was born in Brighton, based in Brighton, company's head office is in Brighton. Um, and again, this is quite a very sweet smell. It's quite a nice smell. It's got lemon, grapefruit, that sort of stuff in it, as well as bergamot, um, which I'm not a fan of, I'm not so sure. Lime, apple, blackcurrant. There's all sorts of things in this. It's actually quite nice. Again, it's a sweet smell. It's different than the Danger, because the Danger, again, has got that my favourite patchouli in it. Again, though, fairly expensive. They do two versions. They do the Cologne, which is about 270 quid, and then they do a Parfum in a clear bottle, which is around the £375 mark. But I prefer the Parfum, the Cologne. The Cologne smells a lot nicer. Now, I've also gone for another Creed smell are based on the fact that i did on the last one because i was trying a few ouds out i wanted to see what the ouds were like creed do a royal oud so this is creed royal oud again nice looking bottle nice looking perfume again fairly expensive but I don't quite know how to describe it it's a very strong smell it's it's all right again it's i don't know if i'd wear on all day long um probably more wintry than i would say summer well, I'd say definitely wintry, really. It has that sort of warm feeling to it. Um, sort of in a coat and a scarf. Maybe I'll wear my blue woolen coat with it. It's not as nice as the Creed other things like Creed Aventis or Creed's Viking, as I reviewed earlier. But it's not bad. It's quite a nice smell. Um, I just don't know. There's a lot in the Creed range to go through, so I think you'd probably test a few. This is probably my least favourite out of the selections that I've got at the moment. 
Now this next one is the one I definitely wanted to try. This one again is if you look at lists on the internet for um, parfums or colognes with patchouli in which so I've been looking for as my sort of main ingredient as well I seem to like then this one comes up quite often quite a lot this is by a company called Diptyque or Dipique. Um this is called Tempo now this is a really really nice this is a eau de parfum Tempo eau de parfum main ingredient is patchouli it's a very dark coloured brownish coloured liquid um, but again it's a lovely smell this one it has a lot of other ingredients as well as the patchouli in it, but you can definitely smell that in there, but you can smell lots of other. Again, it's more of a wintry one. It's a warming one. Probably not a summer feel to it. It's more of a said, winter months type feel, warming smell. It's a reasonably priced, depending where you get it from, but it's got a nice smell. Um, read some good reviews. It's not overpowering. Um, yeah, I quite like this one. This one's quite nice. Whether or not it's my favourite, mm, I'm not so sure yet. I'll come to that. The next one is from the brand Initio. This was a recommendation from the Paul Thorpe video, one of the ones he listed in there, which is Oud for Greatness. Now, they do also do an Oud for Happiness, and they do a much bigger range. I'll put a link down below. Like with all of these perfumes, there'll be a link down below to the sites, the actual perfume I'm talking about, and sites where you can review them and get ideas of what's in them, stuff like that. This one is Inicho, as I said, they do quite a big range. There are two top ones, these are the Oud for Greatness and Oud for Happiness. Now Oud for Greatness, it's an Oud, which is why I wanted to try it, because again it's a all day, all long lasting smell. Um, again, quite nice ingredients, but it's slightly different. It's got more of a spicy, sort of ambery smell to it. Um, it's one of the ones which has got musk in it, so you can sort of smell that the musk's there. It's not a bad smell. I'm not against musk. I used to go out with somebody who used to wear a lot of white musk. Um, that was quite nice. So it's not a bad smell. There's only about six main notes to the smell for this one. Um, nutmeg's one of them. I'm not a fan of nutmeg, to be honest with you. So that's maybe a, a slightly off-putting smell. I don't know. The bottle's such a nice-looking bottle as well, though. Although the Oud for Happiness has got green on the bottle. So I really quite like the look of that one. But, yeah, I can definitely smell the nutmeg in it, the nuts. So... I'm not so sure. I quite like it. It's quite a nice milk. It's a petroleum product again, but mm, this will have to go on me, maybe. Now, I will be getting down to some more, shall I say, realistically priced ones. Although these can be had if you look around, hunt for them, um, and they can be bought in samples. As I said, I put the sample links down below, as with all the other links. So you can get hold of these in small quantities if you want to, and they're quite nice. You said you've got this sort of smell, uh, you could smell like a billionaire or rockstar whatever for not a lot of money so it, it's don't be off put by the high prices some of them you buy samples of before you buy the full product because you might not be too happy if you go out and blind buy a product that's say 150 200 300 pounds and then you don't like the smell of it you do occasionally find that i mean the pen halligan's one i'm talking about i'm looking at at the moment probably spending about 75 pounds on the original bottle from people that have bought it and suddenly decided they didn't like it or didn't want it um, whereas you know new it's 204 pounds so it's but it's a smell I like so I quite like the idea and I would wear it on a regular basis so the next one is from a company called Bond number no. nine it's a New York based company they do most fantastic bottles they do a massive range of products both male and female unisex this bottle I first saw in a review or not a review in a video from producer Michael when he was talking about fragrances so again I'll put a link to my producer Michael's video down below he had this on the table one of his ones on his table in this bottle um, they're very very unique the bottle you can tell particularly look for it and then find out which fragrance it is so Bleecker Street's quite nice again it's a fruity flavour it's got a few other sort of fruits in it this has got things like um, blueberry in it as well as the patchouli and other mix of ingredients so it's quite a sweet smell this is sort of I think an anytime smell it's an evening day smell you could wear this in the summer the winter I don't think it would matter at all when you wore this one it is a nice smell I do quite like this one does have a bit of amber in it oak moss stuff like that um but it's you know it's nice i quite like this i said i like the bottle anyway but it's quite a nice smell it's not overpowering it's not nasty it's not got any sort of like nutty or woody notes to it it's quite as i said it's a i would say summer but you could probably wear it in the winter but day or evening and again it's one of them ones it's supposed to linger should linger on the skin all day long so i quite like it 
So whilst I was looking up for Bleecker Street from Bond Lumber Line, and there's a few others, they do quite a big range, I will stick a link there. So down below will be a link to the Bond Lumber Line website. You'll see all of the fragrances and everything they do and the bottles and the stylings and everything. Look at Fragrantia, which is a site I've also put on here. Fragrantia has got all of the breakdowns of these fragrances and reviews. So people tell you if they like them or not, which is always a good way of finding out if you want something or not. It doesn't mean that everybody's writing these reviews. They write the review the way they feel like it. You take it with a pencil short and see if you like it or not. So this is, again, one number nine, but this is Scent of Peace for Man. Now, this again, there's a few fragrances that are doing this sort of similar to. A lot of people recommend that this is very similar to the Creed Aventus fragrance. Um, it is. It's slightly lighter. It's a slightly more palatable. It's not overpowering like Aventus is. But it's definitely got that sort of smell to it, more fragrant. It's not a fruity one, this one. This is more, I would say more chemically, really, but it's more clinical, shall we say. Um, but it's a nice, that doesn't mean it's bad. That's quite a nice smell. Clinical, clean. It does smell clean. It makes you feel fresh. It's a fresh, clean smelling fragrance, which I quite like the smell of as well. Um, as I said, it's not as overpowering as Aventus. It's a little bit cheaper than Aventus, not a lot. There's probably about 100 quid in it. Aventus might cost you 250. This will cost you maybe 200 or maybe somewhere around that area. Um, so it's not cheap, but it's a nicer smell. And it's a difference than going for Aventus. Rather go for this. Everyone's got Aventus. You have this. People think, oh, similar, but it's not the same. They know you've not gone down the sort of everyone else route. Sitting that in your bathroom and everyone's going to go, oh, wow, well, that's a, an unusual bottle. That's quite fancy, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite nice. Okay, so we're coming more down to earth. Now, this is a new fragrance. It's come out by John Paul Gaultier. Um, you've seen the adverts for it everywhere. It's got a really nice bottle with a big crown on it. This is John Paul Gaultier's Scandal. Now, in the past, he's done a lot of these Le Mail and all that sort of fragrances. I've never really been a John Paul Gaultier fan. Not of his fragrances, anyway. I quite like the fashion house and the stuff he does in that respect. Although, when he was on Eurotrash, he was a bit stupid. But, um, fragrance-wise, I'm not overly impressed with their fragrances. But I try this one. One thing I will say is this, if you look at the bottle, the liquid inside the bottle is the colour. So it's, it's sort of a grey, sort of purpley colour. The bottle's clear, actually. It's liquid that's a grey, purpley colour. But it's a very overpowering smell. This is a very fruity, very... Yeah, it's a quite strong smell. A few people have smelled this. And as I said, we're doing this with work with a couple of guys at work. We're sort of going through these and what we like and what we don't like. This is a bit hit and miss. I think it's a bit like Marmite. Some people are going to like it. Some people won't. As I said, it is a new fragrance. So maybe it's got to grow on people. But I'm not so sure. It has some older notes from some of the earlier fragrances back in the 90s and that. But um, I don't know. It's going to be, It's a hit and miss one. Again, it's one of these ones. Maybe it will grow on me. Maybe I'll get used to it. We shall see, um, see how it goes. But it's more affordable, obviously, than other fragrances. Strangely enough, there's a lot of places like Boots. Boots give very good fragrance prices and they give all the ingredients and all the stuff you need to know more than, say, some of the more expensive sites. You might find something that you'll see in, say, Selfridges or somewhere else that would be cheaper if you bought it in Boots. So it's worth having a look. I'll put a link, as I said, to everything else is down below. And last but not least, which is one of the ones I actually wanted to start testing in the first place, is the Prada Luna Rosso Carbon. Read through the reviews, as I said, if you read the reviews on the Fragrantia site, it will tell you this is more of a um, Sauvage smelling fragrance than any of the others. And that is very much true. It is a very Sauvage, but it's not, again, it's not strong like Sauvage. It's a nice smell, very similar. Slightly cheaper, I think you can buy this probably, again, boots, something like that. This starts at around, I think, £42, something like that. Um, against say Savard which is going to be about 60 or 70 so it is a cheaper alternative um, but it's a very very similar smell just I said, not quite as pungent or as quite as attack you sort of smell that Savard is it's got the same type of ingredients again patchouli and another sort of set of ingredients are very very similar to the two um, they're just it's a nicer plus a mellow smell to it a nice not overpowering wear all day sort of smell not going to give you a headache it's quite nice so, out of those fragrances, I would say the Prada Luna Rossa Carbon, I'm going to get, definitely, that's going to replace my um, Sauvage. The Sauvage hasn't run out yet, but when the Sauvage does go, then that's going to replace it, which is why I wanted to get that sample. Um, just because it's just something different. I've had the Sauvage for a while, thought I'll get something a bit unusual. So the Roja ones, I think I might get some sort of smaller bottles of, try and get some sample size bottles of those, maybe... 
20 mil, 10 mil, 20 mil, something like that. Um, the Danger and the Elysium, I would probably get both of. They're not a case of have to get, it's just like it might be nice, but I do intend to buy a Penn Halligan's Impudent Cousin Matthew online though. So I've seen it on eBay, so I will get one of those on eBay at some point. Um, I've still got quite a lot of the Eros and I've got a few others, so it's nice having different smells um, and then finding ones you want to stick to, so yeah. And then I've just got to find things to do, so I ought to go out a bit, maybe start mingling in the pubs, I don't know, that sort of stuff. Don't know, see what happens, but yeah. It's just nice to have these sort of like these nice luxury smells, something I really wasn't overly worried with that so long ago, and now all of a sudden I'm thinking, hmm, I quite like the idea of different smells. Mm -hmm. 